Right, so who have we got here then, guys? Uh, Hannah Seabright, Chief Exec, and... Roger Pemberton, Chairman of the Trustees. So this is, I mean, fantastic, isn't it? Work is starting, you know, in a year that's not been great for charities across the nation. Here we are. Yes. And you're up and running and, and it's happening. Um, just fill us in on, on kind of what, what the time scale is. So we've started work. When are we hoping to be done and dusted and flying? We anticipate moving in um, around September 2022. So it's an 18-month programme. Yeah. And how long has this been, you know, when was the first idea muted that you could have a, an all-encompassing site? We started planning this several years ago. It's in our strategic plan. Yeah. And we actually started funding it four years ago. So yeah. we've, we've raised 90% of the funds needed for this, this capital project yeah. through um, DHSC and grant funding, particularly support from our Help, help Appeal colleagues. Yeah. And Roger? What do you think about it all then? Just fill us in. It's the most exciting times, really. How long have you been involved yourself with the Midlands Air I was a trustee in 2011. Yeah. So it is, yeah, it's quite a few years now. Yeah. But um, no, I've seen the Air, Midlands Air Ambulance grow over that 11 years. Uh, we've evolved into a totally different organisation from the one that I knew. Yeah. Because things have got more complicated over the years the number of incidents we're called to has increased and the kind of incident has, has changed so much yeah so this is the culmination of many years of hard work and we're all looking forward very much to seeing the new air base and headquarters built and we, we, we're not too sure we're just chatting off camera to one of the guys we're not too sure on logistics of it yet but the, the hope is that there may be a some kind of a, a viewing area hope fingers crossed that people could come and kind of watch it there taking off uh, you know as and when yeah. and there's um there's, there'll be an external viewing area um from the car park side yeah. of things uh where people can come and um, be safe and, and see the aircraft taking off uh we'll have an internal within the building a viewing platform yeah. which you can access from um, one of the big meeting rooms for escorted groups whether yeah. it's school children who are there for educational purposes or corporates um, for our volunteers and wonderful supporters great stuff well thank you guys and wish you continued success with your good work that you do thank, thank you. you thank very you very much, much. How you doing guys? So uh, I understand Midlands Air Ambulance, um, you're, you've got reasons to be very grateful yourselves personally to them, just fill us in a little bit. Yeah, in uh, March 8th actually 2018, Sophie had a car accident in Budley um, where the Air Ambulance had to attend the scene to uh, administer life-saving treatment at the side of the road to enable her to be then transported to the QE in Birmingham. Yeah. So without that service, she may not yeah, be here today? No, definitely not. She wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Um, they had to, you know, she had problems with an artery, she had a collapsed lung, yeah, she yeah. had bleeds on the brain, um, which then, you know, transpired to her having um, life-saving operation at the QE. So you're here today to see what's going on. We are, yes. It's, um, it's getting bigger and better, the service, which is great, isn't it? It's what we all need. Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts, Soph? What do you think being here today and having a look at the site? Amazing. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I should imagine you, you're in no rush to go up yourself, but again, but you, you'll, be, you'll be looking forward to seeing it built, the new site. Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you think you'll come back to see it once it's all fully oh, yeah, up? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What do you think, Mum? It looks, I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing, and what the charity's done for us, you know, like Sophie would never be here if it wasn't for them. Yeah. So, thank you, Midlands Air Ambulance. The bigger, the better. Yes, definitely. definitely. Cheers, bigger the guys. Better. Bigger, the better. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. So, Glyn, you're, you're here doing the um, kicking off the project from Morris Property and a local firm as well. Yeah, she's be based. So yeah. it's quite nice to be working closer to home. I guess it's not always that way. No, it's, 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 uh, we've been a Shrewsbury-based company. We, we tend to work locally anyway. And yeah. Obviously, this land in this one, it's a great opportunity uh, being part of this project for a, for the uh, Midlands Air Ambulance Charity. Well, that's it. It's a, it's a great project, isn't it? So um, every time you see it take off again in future, you'll know you played a little part in, in that, 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 that link in that chain. Yeah, yeah, crucial part into to, to the main scheme. Great stuff. Thanks, Glyn. Cheers. Hi, I'm Ian Jones. I'm the Air Ops Manager for Midlands Air Ambulance.
exciting times. Did you, did you think this would ever happen? Um, it's been a long time in the planning uh, yeah. and it's one of those dream ideas. Let's be honest, it's like building yourself a dream house. You kind of want to do it, but you don't necessarily believe you'll ever get to do it. As you can see, here we are. We've actually started the works and uh, really looking forward to a brand new home. So for people who say, well, your old site was fine, you don't need to be spending the money on a new site, why are they wrong? So they're probably not wrong, but what I would say is we've got multiple sites scattered across the region. Um, our charity are separate currently from our operation site. What we want to do is bring everybody together. So the same team, because we're all the same team, we're going to be on the same site. So if I want to have a conversation with somebody from the charity side, rather than picking up the phone like I've always had to, I'll be able to walk through a door and actually have that conversation face to face. And I think that's going to help us moving forward to understand each other's stresses and problems and um, achieve goals together. Uh, yeah. Secondly, we have moved so far forward in terms of the medical provision, what we can actually do for patients at scene now. It's a, a challenge to, to have the right facilities for the training that we require. Yeah. So the other thing this building will do is have a state-of-the-art training suite. So our new staff, our existing staff, and even old dinosaurs like me will be able to stay current with all of the new technologies, all of the new protocols, new PGDs, the new drugs that are coming through. We'll be able to train in realistic scenarios to the point where we uh, are so confident when we go out to patients, it's not even a, a thought process. It's just, it's drilled into us, it's muscle memory. Great stuff. We look forward to seeing you taking to the skies from the new location. All the best. Thanks very much.